What are some of the popular furniture and accessory trends at the moment? The most common one at the moment is the infusion of the media wall. Mm. Everyone wants to have a beautiful media wall. So gone are the days of just buying your TV and you just, you know, hang it on the wall and you go your way. No. You know, she mentioned something about creating focal walls, mm -hmm. like a feature wall, a wall you're featuring your home. So these days, the most common, you know, even people that have, you know, like designed their homes, they've been living in their homes for years, they are calling on us, just come and change my media wall. Mm. And, you know, that brings us back to that um, cladding phrase okay. where everyone wants to have some form of cladding panels on their media wall. So the wall is designed specifically for your TV okay. and of course all your uh, media stuff mm -hmm. that would go with the yeah. TV you know so that is very common now and you can use all sort of different accessories to you know beautify it and all of that okay so another one is um, the infusion of beautiful accent chairs mm. so you don't get to see the basic anymore mm. you know in those days basic accent chairs would just come like a, a, you know straight lines it's yes. just like this it's just yes. defined mm -hmm. but now you see some very funny looking oh, yeah. accent chairs you know and they just you know by the time you throw in two into your space it changes the narrative mm. it makes it look it gives it that wow effect yeah you know? oh that's interesting yeah. i've seen i think i've seen such designs somewhere yeah. of what it is you're describing okay. i think that's a, yeah. like funny legs but very exactly uh, stylish yeah. very, very, very contemporary yes. very stylish yeah, yeah. yeah. oh yeah. that's amazing yeah the l shape the l shaped seating mm -hmm. I think it's kind of slowing down now. It is but, really slowing yeah, down. It's slowing down now because, you know, it's, it's quite really, restrictive, really you know. Down. But that was a trend, you know. It was not a trend. In fact, there was a because... time that if you enter my showroom, that all, you all that you see L. are just L shaped yeah. sofas. Wow. No, I don't even have one. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Yeah, because people keep, you know, <laughs> yeah. um, asking it for new changes. things, you know. Once it stays for a wow. while, it has to go. Yeah. Something else will come in. And then there was a time where people like to have like a proper full set where you have two units or three seater mm. sofas three and two singles. And singles yeah. Now it's changing. Mm. You can just get a three seater. Some people even do four singles. Mm. Mm -hmm. So two singles are the same. The mm. two other two singles are completely different. Yeah, and then the three seater is completely different. Mm. So it's exciting yeah. and you know quite yeah. innovative. Yeah. So that's that's great. That's great. I like the I like the sound of that. You know LG is all about innovation. Yes. 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 So this just works very well. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is um do I like this one because I love lights. Okay. How do you creatively use lighting in interior design and how can lighting in impact the overall style and mood of a living space. Okay. This, this is a great area for me because the interior space commands a lot of activities, mm -hmm. you know, and then when you're within that space, you, for we designers, you know, we have to bring in things that work, you know, and then for yeah. lighting, lighting makes the interior very interesting yeah. and can change it, you know, depending on how you design that, you know, the lighting for that space. Mm -hmm. And then there are lots of lighting that come in. You have your tax lighting, yeah. which is what you need when you're doing a particular task. Maybe yeah. reading yeah. or working on smaller things. Yeah. You need a certain kind of light to come on, mm -hmm. you know, so that you can see the details of what you're doing. You have the ambient lighting, yeah. where you don't want the lights hitting your eyes, you know. Yeah. So that relax, so creates that relaxed mood, you know, mm -hmm. where you are, you know, just relaxed watching TV or just, you know, having a discussion. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you have other kinds of lighting, you know, ornamental lighting that come into the lampshades, you know. The chandeliers. Yeah, so, lighting is one area that really, really gives that, you know, magic to an interior space. Talking about lighting, uh, how the lighting can affect the mood of a space. Mm -hmm. So, I remember a client of mine at some point, you know, she was like, I want you to put um, LED lights in my bedroom, in the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she went on and on that, don't... Uh, Funke, what's going on? You forgot? I said, no, we will do it, ma. <laughs> and then she said, you've not even asked me why, you know, why I've been going on and on about, the, about this mood light. Yeah. And she said to me that I want the kind of mood light, the um, LED light that I can, that can be remote controlled. Okay. So I can Ooh. change the color from red to blue to green. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I said, okay, ma, no problem. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I got it. And she was like, you didn't ask me. I said, okay, ma, why? <laughs> And she said, because when I turn it on red, uh -huh. and my husband comes to the room, uh -huh. he knows that it's showtime. All right. Oh, wow. I said, oh, right. Oh, I like wow. a woman. That's that a knows. new one. Yes. 
So talking uh, about mood yeah. and the light effect, yes. you can actually, yeah. you know, link that to it. Oh, I like that. I mean, I like a woman who knows what she wants. Oh, yeah. And who can control the light. <laughs> exactly.